The BNF is produced by the Royal Pharmaceutical Society and they produce it on a six monthly basis. And this is the book that lists all the medications that are available within the UK. It's produced from March to September and then from September to February. It's really important that you're always using the most up-to-date BNF in order to make sure you have the most correct information. So throughout this video I'm going to show you how to use the BNF and how to find the things that you need to find within it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of looking up a drug and for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to look up the drug ibuprofen. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the index which is at the back of the book as you would expect and it's in alphabetical order. So to find ibuprofen you'd want to go to I and there we can see we're at the I page there and within that on the last column you'll see ibuprofen which has been circled there. You see it tells us what page to go to. It, there's a number of options depending on the reason why you're looking for the drug. Um, for this purposes we're just going to go straight to the first page that it gives us and that is page 666 um, or 665. So 665 will take us to the very front page of the class of the drug that this belongs to. And you can see the heading there, and it belongs to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And this is the sort of introductory section to that class of drug. Within this class there will be a number of drugs, one of which will be ibuprofen. It's always worth reading this front section. It's got a list of sort of generic information that you need to know about the class of drug in particular. And sometimes it'll give you details about specific drugs. And you can see on this one up on the uh, top corner there, there is a section telling us about ibuprofen itself. You see there it's saying what type of drug it is and um, just some of the uses that we might have for it. This is very generic information and you'll get more detailed when you move on to the page with the specific drug. So if you continue to look through this section you will come across the drug that we were looking for which is ibuprofen and you can see that there. So it's on page 617 which is a few pages on from the original um, classification and that's just because there are a number of drugs within this class so sometimes it'll be quite close to where you were and sometimes it'll be a few pages on. And this is where we're going to get all the specific information about this drug. You can see at the top of the page that's circled there is uh, you'll find the, the title for the uh, section that you're on for the class of drug. So if you've gone straight to the page that has the drug itself on, if you look to the top you'll see the name of the class that you're in and you can, you can leaf back through the pages until you find that front section. So now we can move on to look at the specifics for the drug that we're looking at, which is ibuprofen. you see there's a number of sections. The first section is indications. Now indications is just another term for the reasons why the patient might use this drug. And you can see there's a list of options there. Now whenever you see a list in the BNF, the items at the top are the most probable or the most common, and the items towards the bottom are the least common. So for this drug, pain and inflammation in rheumatic disease would be the most common indication with a number of others lift, listed afterwards. See the next section is cautions. Cautions means something that we need to be aware of when patients are using this drug, but it wouldn't mean that they couldn't take it at all. And you can see here it says see notes above. Now what that means is that for this particular drug, the cautions are the same for the whole class of drug. So see notes above refers you to the, sec the section at the start of this class of drug that we looked at before that has the generic information and the cautions will be listed in there and they would be the same for all these drugs. Some drugs however will have individual lists of cautions and if we look at this other drug here you can see there's a number there listed such as determine the patient's renal function before treatment is initiated. The next section is contraindications and contraindications are reasons why the patient definitely wouldn't be able to take this drug. Again for ibuprofen it's referring you to the start of the section but for this drug there is one specific contraindication which is ketoacidosis so if the patient had that condition they wouldn't then be able to take this drug. Then from underneath contraindication there's a number of sections, herpatic impairment, renal impairment, pregnancy and breastfeeding. And these are just other things that we need to consider for patients who are using these drugs and things that we need to take into account if we were to be prescribing anything. 
Following on from that section, we can see side effects. See notes above for ibuprofen. For this other drug, we have quite a list of side effects there. And as before with the indications, the side effects at the top are the most common and the ones at the bottom are very unlikely. Some drugs will have a list of side effects the whole length of the column of the page, so it's very important that you can determine which side effects are more likely than others looking at that list. The next part we've got is dose, and this is where the prescriber would find uh, the correct dose to prescribe for each individual condition or each individual patient. It normally lists adult child and sometimes elderly as well, and then if the drug is used for various different conditions, it will say the dosage for that as well. The final section we need to look at is the non-proprietary and proprietary names area. You'll always have a, a non-proprietary name for the drug and uh, that's just the preparation that it would come in from the pharmacy. And the non-proprietary would be the equivalent of a supermarket's own brand rather than a branded. So they generally are cheaper and it's generally what would be prescribed on the NHS. You also however get proprietary drugs and you can see from the outline section there for ibuprofen it's listing three other proprietary drugs which can be prescribed. So we've got Brufen, Brufen Retard and Fenbid. So a patient may come to you and say, oh, I'm taking Fenbid because often patients will only know it from the proprietary name that's on the packet. So it's important that you can know, you can look this up in the index as you would the initial drug. It would take you to here and you can look back and see, ah, that's part of the ibuprofen group of drugs. So you should now be able to use the BNF to look up a drug, to look for its indications, cautions, contraindications, side effects, dosage and proprietary name. So what we'd like you to do now is to go ahead and complete the SDL tasks that you've been set in order to be able to practice these skills.